I'm uh, Alan AB4OZ, and uh, this is my uh, J pole design. It's a roll up wire J pole, and uh, I did all the uh, uh, calculations uh, and uh, measurements to make it work, including fixtures. Uh, the instructions were edited by uh, Howard and for KYW. So uh, we've got instructions on how to build this, and if I go to the first page, what we're starting with is a, uh, um, a pre cut. Uh, piece of twin lead and first we're locating the bottom where we're starting from and from the bottom we measure up uh, we measure up a roughly a half inch we measure up roughly a half inch and give us a little mark to work by and then from there we take a pair of strippers that was designed for this twin lead it's got a notch so it only hits the twin lead and not uh, uh, any other part. So we put this in here and what we're going to do is give it a little notch where the uh, where the um, marks were. And what we're not going to take it off right away. What we're going to do is go to a, uh, a needle nose and we're going to use that because when we take it off we want to twist it. Doing this to twist it, what that does is it um, gets the uh, all the strands of wire going in the right direction. So they're all wound up and ready to be used. So we, we turn it clockwise at the same time we pull it and that takes it apart and makes all the strands kind of in the right place. Then we can clip it into the fixture. We're going to clip it into the fixture and uh, take a little bit of uh, flux. We got this flux in a pen and uh, we're going to rub some of that on and what we do is we you prime the thing, we put it on a piece of paper to see that it's clear you can't see it. So we're just going to rub it on here like this on both pieces. Then we're going to take the soldering iron, which is over here, and a little bit of solder. Um, we're going to clean the iron first. Then we're going to prime it with a little bit of solder to get it uh, wet because it's the uh, flux, it's the solder that conducts the heat. Then we just go like that and it tins it. So we're just tinning the piece of copper like that. And that's done. After we tin it, after we tin this thing, the uh, piece, we're going to get a piece of um, jumper. We're going to get a pick up a jumper that's been pre-tinned. I'm going to clip the jumper into the fixture to hold it in place. And then adjust the twin lead so that the jumper crosses over the twin lead like this. And then what we're going to do is take the soldering iron. And uh, we're going to take a little bit of solder and we're going to tack this in place. A little bit of solder over here, like that. It's going to flow between the two pieces. Then we're going to put a little bit over here. That's going to flow between the two pieces, and that's done. And then we'll go to the next step. What we do is we'll take this out after it cools off. Take this out. Get our clippers, which is over here. Now the clippers have two sides to the clipper. There's a flat side and a V side, and you always want to cut with the flat side to the work. So when you clip it, it doesn't leave any points behind. If you use the other side, it leaves a little V-notch behind, which leaves points that can cause trouble. So you clip that off like that, and then we've got our jumper at the bottom. Not quite straight, but it's good enough. All right, the next step is to go back to the uh, strippers, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put a notch over in this window. Right after that, there's this window. We're going to go in there and put four notches, one in each corner. So we're going to put one notch here, one notch over here, a notch over here, can turn this over, put a notch over here, and another notch over there. All four corners. And then what we're gonna do is put it into the fixture. Now this is a tricky step. What you wanna do, what we're going to do is melt the uh, insulation, and while it's while the insulation is hot, we're gonna strip it off from the back. So we're gonna take the red pencil, I have a pencil that's made for uh, um, it's got a bad point on it, so I use it for plastic and rubber and things like that. So what we're going to do is place it on the insulation, push down so it's melting it, and then slowly roll that. You see how the, uh, the insulation is rolling up ahead of the uh, iron. So I'm just going slowly down there. And then as soon as I get that done, I'm going to pull this out while it's hot, go to the back side here, and hopefully it'll come right off like that. And then we turn it over, do the same thing to the other side, clip it back in, Take the hot iron, the red one, 
got them labeled red and black because they're different. Take the hot iron, push it down so it's making contact with the copper, and then roll it up slowly so you can see the copper trailing behind it, like that. And then take that out, like we just did before, take it out, go to the back side, and peel that off, like that. Okay, we got the insulation off. We're gonna go to the next step where we clip it, clip, clip it back in and tin the two sides. So we're gonna clip this back into the fixture, and then we're gonna use some of the uh, flux again in the pen, and it, it looks like it's coming out okay. And we just flux it a little bit. So the, uh, the flux cleans the oxidite off, oxidation off the uh, joints so that the solder flows. And then we'll clean the tip and put a little solder on the tip and then we'll run it alongside like this and see it just flows like that. And then we'll do the other side from here. It just flows along. And, it, and the, the, uh, the copper almost sucks it up because it, uh, the flux makes it so clean. Okay, next step. Next step, we're gonna take this out of the fixture and we've got a template over here. Got a little template I'm gonna pull out and the template shows us where to connect, where to st uh, stick the, um, the cable on. So I'm gonna turn this over, the fixture over and there's a little green spot here on my template that goes over here that lines this up. And then we take the antenna, the coax, and we put it in this way, and we'll uh, clip this in. When we clip it in, we're gonna clip it in and line up the end of the co the end of the twin lead. We're gonna line up the end of the twin lead to the line on the uh, on the template. So that's where we start. And over here, we, where we solder the the shield to this side and the center conductor to that side. So we take the the coax. And we've got the, um, the shield on this side. So we're going to tack the shield right over here with the soldering iron. So we're going to take this. Again, we'll clean it, a little, little bit of solder on it to get it primed. And then we're going to put this right over where that line is, where that black line and the arrow is. And we're going to tack this like that. Wait for the, it gets molten so it flows through the other side. And then we let it cool a little bit give it a little test and it's stuck. Then we do the other, the same thing to the other side where the arrow is. We line this up and slide this down like that. Let that cool and give it a little tug and we're tight. So that's that step. That's where the, uh, that's what makes the, uh, uh, this distance is what makes up the 50 ohm impedance to the antenna. Okay, the next step is to trim off the excess where it hangs over the edges. So get a little cup there again with the back side and a little clip over there so that's clean. And then the step after that, we want to measure, we'll measure the, uh, we'll take the template out of the way and then we'll get our pin and we're measuring uh, one, okay, we're measuring a half inch over here. We're going to measure a half inch over here where there's a tie wrap. And then we're going to measure down from the bottom, from the bottom an inch and three quarters. From the bottom, we're going to measure uh, an inch and three quarter. Let me get this in the right direction. Uh, from the bottom, inch and three quarters over here. Put a line over there. That's where another tie wrap is going to go. Okay, next step is to put one tie wrap over here to keep that from moving around. Okay, we put the tie wrap on. We want it tight, but we don't want it, uh, we don't want to kill it. We want it tight, but not too tight, because you don't want to deform the coax. Cut the excess off. Then the next step is some measuring. And here's where we got a new tool this year for the measuring. So we take the measuring, what we do is we take our coax, and we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna clip this into the fixture over here. Let me clip that in, gotta get that in. Like this. Okay. There. Now we can set this in and line up the bottom, this where we soldered this piece on, to the bottom edge of this, of this fixture. So they line up like that. Now when they line up, if you look over here, you'll see that this arrow should point to where the where the shield is. That means that I got it in the correct position. That's a double check to make sure we did it right. 
Then the next step, <clears throat> the next step is to um, take uh, our clip off, and we're going to do another couple of measurements. And this is where you uh, measure once, you measure twice and cut once. So what we're going to do is measure. Let's go to the next step. We're looking for um, 16 and a quarter is the first measurement. So we take this, we clip this over the edge here, and then we pull this out to 16 and a quarter. The 16 is over here, and one quarter is right here. 16 and a quarter here. Then the second measurement to, to make sure the first one came out right is 16 and three quarters. So we do the second measurement, the 16 and three quarters, we find out that we actually have the half inch in between and the numbers look correct. So that's the piece we cut out. So we go over here. <clears throat> we go over here where the line is and we cut out. Can you see that? Mm-hmm. We're going to cut this piece out by just taking this little notch here, little notch there, and then we're going to go over here and cut out that piece of uh, twin leaf, that little tiny piece with the cutters. There's a little web there we take out, so there's a break right there. There we go. Okay, now the next step is to measure the length of the antenna, which will be the resonant length at uh, 57 and a half. So we take again our tape measure on the edge, and where nothing is moved, we go out here to uh, 57 and a half. We pull this out to 57. And a half, just right over there. And let's see, I think if I hang this over the edge here to keep it straight for me. 57 and a half, which is right there. 57 and a half. That's our resonant frequency for the band. Okay, now that we've got the, the uh, length measurement done, we can bring this up here where the mark is, and we'll cut off the length like this, and that's the, uh, the length of our j pole. I'm going to save the old piece for jumpers later on. Then we go to the next step, which is the ballon. This is a model of what these pieces should look like. So we're going to do the ballon now. We take the coax, out of, we take the twin lead antenna out of here, and then we're going to switch over to the coax, and we're going to take our um, coil form. And we're going to wrap this around here four times. That'd be one, two, three, and one more makes it four. That's four turns. Then we're going to slip a tie wrap. Take a tie wrap, one of these, and we're going to slip it in underneath this fourth turn, like this. Try and snake it in under there, like that. Get in there. Get in there. And then we're going to uh, pull this tie wrap tight on the mark that we made before. This length is critical because that's uh, the dimensions of where the antenna is measured to. So if we look at this, let's see, there's the mark over there. So we're going to try and pull this to where that mark is. And then we're going to put another one opposite that on the bottom through here. And pull this one to hold the other side together as soon as I get it threaded. <laughs> there we go. Come on, hold still. Put that threaded on there. Pull this one. I can't hold it. My fingers aren't grabbing it. There we go. So we go on the opposite side, pull this one over here. And again, we're going to line this one right up on that mark that we made before and put this one on the bottom and that's where we get our, our ballon from. Okay, so after we tighten up the tie wraps, pull everything tight, and then that's the end of the uh, project. That's our, that's our J-pole. And then we have a, this has already been prepped with the BNC at the other end, that you'll have to get an adapter to run off uh, most of the radios. This runs, uh, BNC is for the old radios, uh, SMAs are for new radios, and uh, that's our whole J-pole. Finish, roll it up, and take it with you.